We have a few guys earning between three and four thousand euros for a senior. Uh, like seven, eight years ago, you could get uh, a junior out of the uni guy uh -huh. for three or maybe four hundred euros. Eva and Ax are in the hotel now and I'm going to a shop called Black Glass where they tilt the windows black because I don't want people to look into the car while we're here in Eastern Europe and I'm driving through the traffic of Belgrade and it's a bit crazy There it is, Black Glass The car is in there now Let's wait a bit until it's done Ah, it's nice from the inside and this is the outside it's hard to look into it. I parked the car and now I'm meeting Eva and Ax in a cafe. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you Vladeta? Yes. Come Hi. I'm Till. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Did you find us? Yes. Yes. Eva. Eva. Okay. Nice. I'm Axel. I'm from Bosnia. Ah. Hi. Uh, easy. Yeah. Easy to find. Oh, this is good. Yeah. yeah. Can mm -hmm. I use it? Yeah. You can. If you want to just move the. <laughs> this is the meeting room. So this is this is actually uh, two flats joined together. Uh, this is our dining room. Oh wow. This is a large space. How many people work with you? 16 at the moment. Yeah. Then I would recommend that you have three, five, or ten. Yeah, so um, it's, it's a big and. It's from mostly either Germany or North. South America, and he's usually in either Berlin or Vietnam or maybe Spain sometimes, maybe Poland. <laughs> and so we, although we are both we are both German, we never see each other usually because I live in Hamburg. When I'm in Germany, and he's mostly in Berlin. We were contractors of the pretzel shop themselves. They terminated all the European contracts, including ours, and opened office in in USA. Oh. And you kept the name Presta because it sounds good. Because yeah, over over the time we got some some nice work and some people knew us but but that name and everything is history after that. People know know us here, not the, the end clients, but the people who will potentially be working with us. What is special about your business? What do you do really really well? I would say that we offer great value for money. Mm -hmm. um, that's the whole point of uh, outsourcing and we are really committed and uh, everything we say we will do, we will really do it. I mean, we had a couple of projects where we could easily like wash our hands, like it's not our business, yeah. like we can't do it anymore and just give up. But at the end of the day, I knew that it's really important for our clients to know that they can rely on us. Yeah. and that everything we agree on is going to be done no matter what. Is that some Serbian mindset that everything is kind of has its place um, and its quality? No, I mean that's the, um, the spite. I mean you probably know the inat. If you set your mind onto something you're really going to do it doesn't matter what. Yeah. I mean if it takes me you know, breaking my leg, I'm going to do it. How is the, the tech scene in Serbia? It's, it's really good. I mean I've heard the numbers that we are lacking like 10 or 15,000 IT people yeah. um, because lots of companies are here and they're giving really good conditions to people and um, I hear sometimes that uh, developers are you know spoiled they want to uh, have a pool you know they want to have yeah. uh, a gym like we do or you know 
your average IT guy in Serbia lives much better than your average guy. Uh, has better salary, better life condition. That's one of the reasons I didn't move anywhere because okay. I, I can afford pretty good life here. Can you talk a bit about the salaries? In Serbia, what's like a, a senior developer? How much do you pay him? Um, we have a few guys earning between three and four thousand euros for a senior. Uh, like seven, eight years ago, you could get uh, a junior out of the uni guy uh -huh. for three or maybe four hundred euros. Uh, nowadays, I don't think I could get anyone for less than eight or ten hundred. Mm. So that made uh, our prices a bit higher, but I think we still offer pretty good value for money. Are you competing against other Eastern European countries? And yes and no. I mean, we are not competing against uh, India or Vietnam or Pakistan or countries like that. Uh, Russia is, I think, more expensive than us. Um, I'm not too sure about, you know, Poland, um, Ukraine, Estonia. I'm not too sure about them, but uh, I think that the, the world market is pretty big. Okay. What did he say? <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he starts, just said um, uh, Vucic, who is our prime minister, he called him gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because there is a, that's, a, that's a joke. Um, when one guy was also filming something and there, there is a guy passed by and, and <laughs> told the exactly same line. <laughs> so pretty much everyone is is repeating it. Back to the to the competition. I think the the, the, the world market is big enough for all good companies to, to have their, their own place. So if you offer good service, good value for money, I think that you'll be fine. I mean yeah. it's not the rocket science. It's very Yeah. It is 5.45 by the way and there are already people leaving. The hotel is alright though. It's decent quality. But just the mosquitoes. Ugh. Anyway, I'm getting a coffee now. <laughs> He's backing up. So this is BAC. Bus, bus tickets. Yeah, this is yeah I think we're good here. Yeah, yes. okay. The German the greetings and everything. Yeah, 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 that one too. We're out of okay, greetings. I'll check. Okay. Cool. Have a good ride. Now we're alone again on the way to Nice. I'm gonna take a nap now because <laughs> I'm done. See you.